Frozen. We got fast passes for Station Bird. We got fast passes for Frozen Ever After. We what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> that the opening of Maelstrom was today. It's actually July 5th, so we both wore our Save Maelstrom buttons. If you love Maelstrom, we have them in our shop. But yeah, you're taking it off? I still support the Save Maelstrom. I think I'm gonna put it on the back there. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our family time. Welcome to our brotherly time. This ends the solo jam by Peter Brooker. We hope you had fun. So good. And it feels so good. Don't tell Beverly. Wait. That's a rare thing. I'm on this one. Sorry. I'm back to hold in the camera. I'm back to hold in the camera. Spaceships are behind my head, and I've been singing all day long. You we're, really have. You know, we're about we're about to be in World Showcase, and it's gonna feel so good. Yeah, we're doing a classic route. Not. And I think the last couple of times we've come to World Showcase, we've gone to Canada first. Which is just a blasphemy. It is, because we are Mexico first. Just put a comment down below. Do you go, coming from Future World, do you go towards Mexico or towards Canada? Same. Game changer if we're friends with you or not. Whoa. I'm not, <laughs> we've, the reason we've gone to Canada is because of friends that we're with. I'm just joking. I feel like I look extra tan today. Oh, oh dear. The lives you have changed with your everlasting, glorious smelling body perfume and lotion. R.I.P. Alright, so we just made a choice. Our friend Dustin and Katie just got engaged, as you're aware if you watch our vlog. And we're seeing Katie tonight before she goes on vacation back home with Dustin. So we're actually going to get her this bottle of the Essence of Norway um, for an engagement gift. We were just talking about how we really liked it. And then she can wear it and she can smell it and think and about be it. And she could be at home with her mom and family, but be thinking about her other home that smells the best. Yeah. This right here is what you call the Epcot empty and quiet calm before the storm. No, this is the calm before the storm known as food and wine, food and wine. I can feel it. We have to Gosh. order shirts for us. Well, yeah, we need to order shirts for us. Gotta wear it for the first day and every other day, but I can feel the food and wine in the you air. You haven't worn your Epcot shirt in weeks. I know. Sorry, guys. I'll wear it soon. I gotta iron it. Gotta make sure it's staying this out. And I feel like it's a little baggy. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. I think I can shrink it. But we're going back to the Guardians of the Galaxy, so we're skipping a bunch of countries. Are you ready? I am. I'm excited. I wish I like changed up the music, but I also really like the music that they sing. I'm just barely gonna vlog it, and I'm just gonna dance the whole time.
smells like food and wine. I can't wait for food and wine. But I need to see. So that that Gal Guardians of the Galaxy show just gets me. It's like I love bizarre. Yeah. But like, I feel like in 20 years we're gonna like look back on that footage and be like, what were what was that guy doing in 2008? But at the same time, I'm gonna love it. Like, so here's my thing about entertainment, and this is one of the things that like I've loved about like doing like being part of crew, but not being a part of the theater. And Sarah, I love. Sarah, going to Sarah's dance shows and watching her in the theater shows. I just love when anybody who's an entertainer of any kind is super passionate and loving what they're doing. And the three singers in there, are like, act, I mean, all the performers in there are actually performing, like guitar, yeah. drums, the singers, they're all doing those things. Right. So when you can just see, like, when the crowd screams at certain beats or certain notes are hit, the, the, like, you can almost, like, see, if you sit in the first couple rows, like, the performer's like, yes, like, we did it, that was so good. And all of the performers we saw today were different from the last show that we saw. So it was even cool to, like, the other people like rock it. Because just like editing it, like I like saw it so many times before. It was like these were the people, but it's like, it's so we're going through Morocco, so you know what that means. Can you grab the water while I run the washroom? Yes. Okay, but honestly, I don't know if it's Spaceship Earth or the color scheme of the walls and the pipes and the ground, but this park. This park, anyway, <laughs> this park just always looks so gorgeous, extra gorgeous during sunset. I was saying, I don't know if it's the spaceship earth or the lights or the painting colors, but this this park looks particularly good at sunset. Because like Main Street looks nice, but like it's overpowered by the glow. I think they're different. I think this is more of a natural beauty. Um, I really thought we were gonna import on. It got chilly. Yeah, it got scary chilly. But now it's like... Like it probably... It, when it was cold, it probably dropped 15 degrees. Yeah, it, was, it was like... In a matter of like five minutes. And now I'm like, again, it's like gonna be dark out and I'm sweating. Yeah, because it's probably 90 degrees right now. You're on vacation. Woo! Open up your engagement gift. Okay. Did you already open it? It's no, it's just for you. Oh. Dustin, we helped you plan it. Oh my god, it's heavy. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs> it's the perfume from Norway! Yeah. Guys, I'm so excited! Is that perfume? Yeah. Oh, thank god, because my chair's now so. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like essence of Norway. We're like, should we get it before? Yes, perfume. Thanks, Sam. You're welcome. Now where are these Oreos at? Oh, look at this. Good humor. Strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Up the nose. She's gonna snort it. It's so good. Yeah, I it smell this? Nice. It's literally the best perfume ever. Mm. I'm gonna need my kid, Layla. I'm gonna try this. It smells good. We got strawberry shortcake. Okay, well don't eat it without Zara. Let me hold it. No, wait, you, you get in on this too. Yeah, yeah, I tried one. Get in on this too. Okay. You gonna try an Oreo with us? I think Alright, try it. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Vacation. But, okay. well, what? let me tell them, I didn't tell my vlog, so I'll tell yours. They came out with different strawberry shortcake Oreos two summers ago in 2016, so I went back and looked at my review, and I gave them a 9 out of 10. They were different though, they weren't, these are partnered with Good Humor, the ice cream brand. They taste we bought like, those too, so if you want one. Oh. Who, who are you? <laughs> what? You're like an Oreo aficionado. She is. You know, like, you on, you know like on Unwrapped with like Tootsie Roll Expert, I was always like, but how? That's you. I'm an Oreo expert, but I give those a nine out of ten. I think that these taste like, like too, like an artificial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the other ones, like these ones, you open them and they like smell. I was like, whoa. Those ones. I mean, I'm, I my Oreo reviews haven't changed. Like they've always been just as. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They're good, but like, I don't know. I'm not yeah, gonna write home about them. them. Yeah. So we got what is this here? You got these as an engagement gift from one of your friends. Yeah. Mini I mean, sweets, dark chocolate, sea salt, caramel truffles. These look very fancy, but I don't know if we should eat, each eat one or cut one up. We should cut one up. I agree. <laughs> what? So it was like, oh, well. You want your own? Because I'm just. A chocolate hot Oh my Ooh. god, this salt is gonna be so good. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. It's Sarah's. Mmm. <laughs> I do I like a good. Back. No, that's a nine out of, nine out of ten. Why not ten out of ten? 
how it's just, not milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. No, there's like better ones out there for sure. How does it feel you're on vacation? It's like the best feeling ever. Like before you even go, but you're like done with it. How many now. days left until you go back to work? Don't <laughs> Ten. Yeah. But you have to finish the engagement vlog. Don't kill me. When you all see this tomorrow, no, I said it on my dimension. So make sure you go up here. I'm super pumped for it. Not. Oh yeah, look at that bling bling. <laughs> we I texted. Show it in the I texted though. Katie. Oh, no. Mm. We. I texted Katie earlier. I was like, how does it feel to have that ring on? Is that in, like insanity? Insanity. Don't tell Eve I'm holding this dog. Check out this sushi they got. What you got? What you get, Dustin? Ooh. Look at those okay, muscles. Do you eat five dozen eggs to help you get it all? Pokey Jim. What the kind Pokey Jim. Of, where's this from? Where do you get sushi here? How come you didn't tell us? Jumbo sushi in Windermere. It's okay. It's all right. It's not the best ever, but it's like. The only but if you're in the place. area, check it out, you know. Another taste test. Banana pudding. Mmm, I wish I could have you smell it through the camera. Wait, it's blurry. There we go. No, not so good? Taste mm. Let's get a cup. Yeah, and it's kind of like that fakey banana. Banana flavor, mm hmm but I'm hoping if you put it's good. on it, yeah. it's not as bad. I'm marshmallow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! That's a surprise. Are they supposed to be in there? I didn't even notice oh. in the I was like, oops. True cereal taste test in a cup. <laughs> With almond milk. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, I do not like it. Mm -mm. No? Okay, then you have the whole box. <laughs> I don't mind the fake banana. It's like really fake though, and it's like very banana. I would probably eat it, but it wouldn't be my first choice. Peter? Peter! Oh. I like the aftertaste. I'm getting it in the anime. Great. <laughs> We've lost Peter officially. You like it? You, you can have the whole box. <laughs> we won the lottery! <laughs> and it has marshmallows in it. That really is like winning the lottery. <laughs> we gotta find the girls cause, cause we gotta go. But where, where are they? We should go. We're back at home. Katie and Dustin are so nice, but they're also so not nice. Because they sent us home with a thing of Oreos, a little thing of chocolate, and a big box of Nilla Wafer cereal and that donut, pink donut cereal. It's like, that's all good and dandy, but I'm going to end up eating it because self-control? What? And those are all super sugary and everything, but it's fine. Um, but we're home. It's actually only 11.50 and I think we're going to crawl in the bed, so that's pretty good for our standards, getting in, in bed before midnight. I'm going to try to convince Sarah to watch to watching The Bucket List Family because we have not watched last week's two episodes. So I'm going to try to convince her to watch one of them. Here she is. Welcome to the show. The Brook Art Project. Ding. Boom. I'm going to need Eve to come over in like a second, but she's at the window staring at all the reflections. No, she's at nighttime she stares outside because we're convinced that she just sees her reflection. She's like, like, girl, that is you. You are growling at yourself. But tomorrow's Friday, and I think I'm working from home. Good coffee, Expedition Roasters, throw out that 15%, Brookhart 15. But if you're looking for good coffee with a Disney twist, but I think a bunch of, the, of you guys have actually ordered it, who said on the Facebook page, um, Jenna bought it, the sample pack. Um, I think I might actually have to order some more because comment below if you yawned. Um, I'm out of. I'm almost out of like all my like three or four favorites. But I guess still got plenty of coffee. I do keep giving it away to like friends and family. He's like trying. It. It's really good here. You get a coffee. You get a coffee. Never I just like to be. I like to share the wealth. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. 
we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.